And this is what the crowd's been waiting for. That is unbelievable. For the money. Yo! Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. Three-pointer. Yes! Oh, my! NBA All-Star Weekend. The time when the game's biggest stars shine their brightest. Oh, no, he didn't! We'll take you behind the scenes and back through the years to relive the top All-Star game memories. Michael Jordan playing in his final NBA All-Star game. Isaiah Thomas is our most valuable player. Oh! Hey! It's all coming up next on NBA TV's Greatest All-Star Game Moments. Oh. I cannot believe this kid. Right here. The All-Star Game is our Super Bowl. You know, people come from all over the country, man, just to be at the All-Star Game. Now we check out the top 10 moments from the history of the All-Star Game. At number 10, Cowboys Stadium in Dallas provided a unique setting for NBA All-Star 2010. And despite the inclement weather, a record crowd was anticipated. And when you walk in here, seeing it for the first time, it might be like a ooh and a ah. It's the biggest all-star weekend in sports history, and I'm a part of it. They're expecting close to 100,000 fans to watch the biggest stars in the NBA universe do battle here on the hardwood. The West started fast behind the hometown hero. Here is Dirk, yes! But Dwayne Wade and the Eastern Conference were out to steal the show. Oh, Dwayne Wade! Handled by Bosch. James gives right back. Box behind the back. Beautiful goal. Oh. Hey. Hey. At halftime, the enormous crowd had their place in history confirmed when the final attendance was announced. 108,000 biggest crowd to ever watch a basketball game. For the East, there would be more to celebrate as they went on to claim the victory led by the Heat superstar who was the game's MVP. Amongst all of these MVPs, there can only be one, and tonight that's Dwayne Wade. Congratulations, Dwayne Wade. At number nine, 1996, Michael Jordan's first All-Star game since coming out of retirement, and he brought an air of exuberance. Good idea. I thought you were going to dunk on me. You know, I wasn't trying to dunk on me. I wasn't trying to dunk on me. my rookie year, man. I got you, didn't I? When? Your rookie year. No, me Scotty and Scotty. Scotty did. Okay. Scotty did. In okay. Chicago. <laughs> I just wanted to fit in. I didn't want to stand above or stand below. I just wanted to fit in. He even pulled a pregame prank on Penny Hardaway when he tugged at his warm-up pants. <laughs> I always get everybody like that. I got two more like that, too. <laughs> MJ was thrilled to be back in his element, and he played just like he'd never left. Hardaway. You get it going, boy. You're going to be hard to stop. Yeah. Two pop, two pop, two curl, baby. Watching the post. Hey, my boy don't want to play, do it. Come on, Blue. They tired, Blue. They tired. Check. Check. Like that, dog. Michael scored 20 points in just 22 minutes, proving that the stage still belonged to the game's top performer. Tough day at home, dog. I want, I want to take you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm they let me ask you. <laughs> so the East has defeated the West. Michael Jordan, the MVP. At number eight, the All-Star Game went Hollywood in 2004, and there were stars just about everywhere you looked. They're ready to put on a show for all those stars and everybody that's here in this audience. I'm here in sideline with Jack. <laughs> I got more. 
by yourself. One, one, stack. And Vince Carter puts it down. Led by two nets, the East soared into the lead. Kenton Martin from his New Jersey teammate. Way to go, Kay. Welcome to the All-Star Game. And for the Western Conference, it was time to regroup. Do you want to go with Shaq or, or to KZ or to Duncan? Let's let Shaq run the lab. The plan was carried out to perfection as Shaquille O'Neal began to dominate the game. And the East had few answers. They're probably going to go inside. If O'Neal gets the ball in here. But nothing could slow down the Diesel, who electrified his hometown fans in L.A. It was a performance even he had to admire. <laughs> he, he liked that move, didn't he? he? He enjoys the game. You gotta love Shaq. The West took a three-point lead in the final seconds. Hey, if they score, we got a timeout. If they score, we got a timeout. And that goes score. Let's go, score. Let's go, score. Let's go, score. Here we go, lock them up. With one last Woo. shot to tie it, the East returned to Michael Red. Here's the three by Red. Oh. West has defeated the East 136 to 132. The MVP of the 2004 All-Star Game with 24 points and 11 rebounds. None other than the Lakers' Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome back to NBA TV's Greatest All-Star Game Moments. At 7, NBA history came alive in Cleveland, where the league's 50 greatest players were honored at halftime of the 1997 All-Star Weekend. It was a chance for the game's legends to reminisce and reflect on all they'd accomplished. You can see Jabbar walk in, you see Jordan walk in, you see Elgin and Oscar. You know that this is something special. You gotta get a picture of this because this is classic right here. Because this is the guy that I patterned my game after. This is my idol right here. He got 11 right here. 11, 10. <laughs> got the most rings. Hey. I was trying to come up back here, Larry. And then my other idol, Larry Bird. See, I tried to get as many as him. I couldn't get there. And then I was fighting this man. It was a noble the effort, though. Yeah, noble effort. Noble effort. <laughs> as they were introduced at halftime, the league paid tribute to the men who had delivered so many heroic moments and built the foundation of the NBA. From the Los Angeles Lakers, number 13, Wilt Chamberlain. Next was another Laker legend. From the Minneapolis Lakers, number 99, George Mikan. It's unequivocally the greatest honor that I've received achieved in basketball. Because when you think of all the players that have played, thousands and thousands of players that have played in the NBA to be one of the 50 greatest, it's a magnificent honor. And I can remember in Cleveland when they held it, just being there with all of my idols, Oscar Robinson, Jerry West, Will Chamberlain, you know, Bill Russell, John Havlicek, all of these guys, I was just sitting there thinking how fortunate I was in order to be there. Uh, that was a magnificent honor for me.